Floss Two. Welcome to Creative Woman Studio. Saturday, December 26th, the day after Christmas. Yay! I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. We had an amazing time, which, you know, just gathering with family is so amazing. But um, it started out with uh, having the grandkids on Christmas Eve because we watched them on Thursdays and Christmas Eve fell on a Thursday. So we were very fortunate to have them all day and they just keep us so entertained. <laughs> Uh, and Wednesday night we made lasagna and got everything finished, you know, wrapping and everything. So as far as making dinner, it was super easy because Brie and Eric came over after they worked and we exchanged gifts and just, you know, having little ones around again at Christmas time, it makes it way more fun because they're just so excited and Ellery being finally at the age where I shouldn't say finally, it's not like I wish them to grow up fast, but um, she's just at that age where it's so magical in the wonderment of it all, you know, and the excitement. And <laughs> I'll have some videos at the end of the kids. And, you know, Easton, he's a little bit young yet. He's basically where she was last year as far as age-wise. And you know, he, he had a blast, but he's not like ripping and tearing into his presence yet. So next year they both will be. So it'll be a total zoo, but so much fun. Uh, last Tuesday, I would just have to mention, we made street tacos. So Kevin and I, when we were grocery shopping a couple weeks ago, we found this little packet and it said street ta tacos on it. And it was a seasoning packet that you would put on pork and then slow cook the pork so it would you know have all this flavor and stuff and then I went to Pinterest and I found a street taco recipe and so we adapted it a bit to fit our tastes and what we like so I'm gonna share that with you guys because I seriously could eat this every day of my life I said that to Kevin he's like no you couldn't I'm like yeah I could <laughs> I really could it was so delicious it didn't take like it didn't taste like your standard tacos, you know, with the hard Ortega shells and the hamburger. We don't use taco seasoning when we make our regular tacos. I mix cumin, cayenne, and chili powder with some pepper and a little bit of salt because I find the pre-packet taco seasoning is way too salty and it has a bunch of crap in it you don't need and you can do it yourself and cumin is the key ingredient that makes it taste like taco seasoning so anyway um but still it, it just it didn't taste like that because it was pork instead and anyways i'll just share the recipe you guys got to try it it's super good you could also do it i saw that you could do uh, that little packet we bought i'll insert a picture so you can see what it looks like but they also have one for beef if you wanted to do like um a roast or some sort of beef and then pull it do the pulled roast. I don't know. Okay, so Athena's gonna whine a lot because <laughs> you guys, we had a white Christmas. We woke up, we had no snow Christmas Eve, which I was bummed about because we bought the kids a sled. And was I was hoping for snow so we could play on our hill. But anyways, went to bed, woke up, and it was snowy and it was beautiful and I loved it. And so what we did is we got up, we went to Christmas Mass, and we came home and the ryan so this is this is crazy last week kyle's brakes went out on his van and so he has another vehicle but that vehicle is like his backup vehicle it has no heat in it it's it's like just it's not worthy of you can't you shouldn't be driving it long distances like if he just needs to go to the store you know he could do something like that anyways Ryan calls us after we get back from church and I started making breakfast and he goes, you're not going to believe this, but my brakes are out now. So <laughs> the poor kid, 
he ended up putting brake fluid in and he drove straight to our house just enough to get here and then monday they're gonna both have to take their vehicle anyways it's just how ironic that both of them are you know don't have a vehicle now so anyways so he got there we ate breakfast we exchanged gifts and we had a couple hours before we did leave and we just hung out and it's just so wonderful it's so wonderful so then we end up going to kevin's brother's house in lansing and it was wonderful it just felt like this was the first time i felt like life was normal um a lot of the folks that were there have already had covid so they were immune and have the antibodies and all that stuff and so it was not don't freak out you know it's it's fine um but it just there was maybe half of the people that would normally be there because a lot of family didn't come because of you know the COVID and everything. It was just nice to be with family. I hadn't seen, we hadn't seen all of them. Well, Kevin goes hunting with his brothers, so he has seen them, but I haven't seen those guys since last Christmas. So a whole year without going to, you know, to see your family is, it stinks. So it felt so, so good to see them. Uh, you know, by the time we get there, it's like five o'clock and you know we leave around 10 30 at night so <laughs> it's really a kind of a short day but it's still fun and we don't exchange gifts or anything like that it's just the family's too big and we just have dinner and, and we play we play this super fun game i'm just going to share with you really quick what it is so everybody makes up a name and it can be the goofiest craziest name or it can be an actor's name or someone said santa somebody said eggnog Somebody said, hello, child. I mean, mine, I couldn't think of one. I wasn't going to play because I like, I just couldn't think of a name. And I, I'm fine watching people play games anyways. But they're like, come on, Aunt Teresa, you have to play. I'm like, okay. So then I was really pressured to think of something. And so I just like, Mr. Frogbottom. <laughs> so, so you go over to somebody and this one person is taking down all the names. We had 18 people play this game. And then, so what she does is then she mixes the names up and she reads all 18 names. And you have to try to remember these names. That to me, number one, is why I thought I'm not going to be good at this game because that's a lot of things to remember. And some of them were so silly. I'm trying to think of some. Kyle's was Johnny, Johnny Two String Johnson. I mean, the names were hilarious. A lot of funny stuff. So... What you do is like one person starts and they say, you know, uh, Teresa, are you Santa? And I say no. And then I get to then ask somebody, hey, you know, um, Russ, are you, and I can pick another name or I can ask him if he's Santa. You can, like somebody said that a good strategy is just to stick with one name until that name is done. And then th anyways, so if you do guess somebody's name, then they come sit by you and then you guys can talk, you know, and you, you team up with people as you're, as somebody guesses you, you join their team. Okay. Anyways, it got down to, uh, father Dan, our nephew, father Dan and his father, which is, uh, Kevin's oldest brother, Russ. And I was on Dan's team, so was Kevin, both of my kids. I mean, like, he, our team was huge. Russ had a smaller team, but it didn't matter. We couldn't think of the last two names. And Russ ended up being low, child. And I didn't even remember what Dan's name was. So they did rock, paper, scissors in order to see who won. But it was a really fun game. It's a nice game where it's kind of a memory game, uh, but... It can be, it's fun. We had a lot of laughs anyway, so. Uh, so we did that and we got home late and on the way home, the roads were horrible. It had snowed and you know, they were trying to keep up with the salt and the plowing and stuff. But anyways, my husband doesn't care. We have all wheel drive and we did 70 miles an hour all the way home and I prayed more on that drive home than I have in a long time. I was like, doesn't isn't it slippery he's like no but he's like going around cars and and i just kept praying and like lord just get us home safe and then there would be areas where it wasn't you know real snowy and the closer we got to home then it got worse and you couldn't see the lines and he'd go off a little bit and you know that that strip that makes it and i'm, I'm like and i'm like 
Oh my gosh, I was so stressed out when I got home. I couldn't wait to get home and get to bed. So anyway, it was an amazing Christmas. I got some really practical gifts. It was funny because everything that everybody got each other, it seemed was fairly practical, which is fine. I love those. I love any kind of gift. So um, Kevin's the only one that got the fun gift. I got him a, I forget what they're called now. Uh, I knew I would do that. Most of them are this box that you sit on and you kind of bend over and you tap on it and you play drums, like acoustical drums. And you can, it's portable that way. And I thought it would be fun for him to have because he all his gigs for 2020 were canceled. And by the looks of it, it's possible that 2021 might be a year without music for him as well. So I thought this would be a fun way for him to sit and tap on this thing. So depending on where you hit it, it sounds like the bass or it sounds like a snare or Anyway, so he can, and Kyle does acoustic guitar, so I thought around bonfires next summer it would be fun. Anyway, so he got, I got him that, and he loved it. And then uh, Santa, Santa got Kevin and I a, um, the sound bar for our new TV in the basement. Um, let's see. Oh, I got, Kevin got me a panini maker. He got me an iron. I know that sounds boring, but I needed a new iron and I needed an iron down here at the studio. So my old iron's coming to the studio. <laughs> I knew iron is at the house. Um, Kyle got me a Mother Teresa fleece blanket and it's super, super pretty. And, and it was like wrapped, you know, from the store, like with this, I don't know, something around it to keep it contained in this cylinder shape. And he stuck a bottle of bourbon in there. And I just thought that was funny. I'm like, okay, I love my bourbon. It just seems really weird. <laughs> it was stuck in a Mother Teresa blanket. Ryan got me a mixer because he's been over several times when I, my mixer is failing me and I'm mixing along and the things would come off and they'd get all tangled up and stuff. And anyway, so he bought me a mixer and I don't know what else. What else? I think I wrote some stuff down here. Oh, Kevin bought us a. I mean, Santa got Kevin and I a sous a sous vide sous vide sous vide. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's popular with restaurants because basically you put your meat <clears throat> in a bag. You can put spices and herbs and different things in it if you want. You put it in a bag and then you put it, you seal it, and you immerse it in water. And the sous vide thing keeps the temperature of the water at a constant temperature and it's where it cooks it super slow sorry guys my battery died so where was i i was talking about the sous vide so it cooks it at a low temperature and you can keep it in there i think up to like three hours and it's just really nice because especially with steaks or I guess mostly with steaks, but I mean, you could do a roast in there or anything, but it cooks it slow. So like, say you're having company and you know, like to cook steaks and stuff like that. When people like, some people like it rare, some people like it medium, so like, some like it well done. You can basically cook it in there. It maintains major moisture. Like it's, it's going to be super juicy and then you pat it dry. And then you, if you have, if it's summer, you can grill it just to brown it and get that charcoal flavor. Or if it's winter, you could just pan fry it in a iron skillet and you got steaks that are perfectly cooked. So anyways, we, Kevin and I learned about that whole way of cooking a couple years ago. And then we kind of dropped it, we forgot about it. But we were watching America's Test Kitchen and they were reviewing them and saying how far they've come with them and the best quality ones and anyway, so. He got us one of those. A lot of cooking things. Ryan got, or no, Kyle got Kevin uh, a pizza thing. And it's so funny that he bought us this thing. It's supposed to make super crispy pizza crust, which is my favorite. But I was just saying to Kevin uh, last Sunday when we went grocery shopping, I'm like, man, we haven't made homemade pizza in a long time. Now, how ironic is that? And then Kyle gets us that um, pizza thingy. And then he bought Kevin this rack that goes on the grill and you can, it's hard to explain. I might insert a picture if I think about it, but it's just, oh, you can like, it holds, like if you have a rack of ribs, you can put several of them in there. It's like this thing that holds things upright. You can also use it 
have you ever done the beer can chicken? Well, it holds the beer can and the chicken perfect. It's basically, you take a whole chicken, you shove a beer can up the cavity, in the cavity, and that's supposed to hold the chicken upright. Well, as it cooks, that beer just keeps the chicken super moist. So, a lot of cooking things <laughs> we received, and I'm like, okay, I think that's a hint. Ma, we like your cooking. Keep on doing it. <laughs> that's a good thing. Okay, what else happened? I think that's pretty much it. I got my repeating stripe painted for the fabric line. And so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this coming week, I'm going to work on all of the coordinating patterns to go along with that. And I think um, I'll be done. So I will have met the goal of having it done by the end of the year. Like just barely, but as long as it's done on time, that's all that matters. And that it's good. I mean, I think it's good. I think it's great. I think it's going to make a really nice fabric line. All right, announcements. So Monday, my Etsy shop will open back up, and I'm hoping to be able to list some new things in there. I have a lot of things I could list. It's just timing, you know, if I have the time to get them listed. Uh, so we'll see about that. And the other exciting thing is I finally got my old laptop. I didn't update it, but for what I did update on it, like I didn't get a whole new uh in that program, whatever, I, I'm losing my words here. Anyways, I got the bloopers video off my old laptop. That's basically what I major thing I wanted to do. So I got that off there. So this coming week, you can watch my blooper videos, which <sighs> embarrassing yet funny at the same time. All right, I had no questions this week. Everybody was just, the comment was gratitude. And so everybody was just sharing what they were grateful for, which I thought was perfect just it was so fun to read all of those comments so thank you guys okay whips i have i worked a bunch on where is it where'd she go <laughs> this angel here for what you paint wednesday um if you remember from last week the background was red she had like brownish i mean i had just started working on her hair and her hair looked horrible um and i worked on the bird's nest and her hands just a little bit i painted her dress and i painted the bird but i'm really far from being done with this there's a lot of things that i want to do with this painting i want i love her white hair um basically my inspiration for the for the person is um Oh, from Game of Thrones, the dragon, the queen of the dragons or dragon queen, whatever her name is, Daenerys Targaryen. I don't know. Anyways, she was my inspiration. I have um, a picture. I found a picture of her. And then I took a picture of another person that was holding a nest. Then I took another picture from of this bird and, and inserted that in there. And then I just added the angel wings on my own. But I want to do the background like super cool. I want to put words and some scripture in here. And so I'm far from done. And um, But it, man, she really transformed from last week. So and I worked on her face a little bit too. She, her face is much softer. So I was happy about that. All right, finishes. So for CW Live, I finished this one. This is our last project for session three. Session four starts January 5th. So if you want to paint with us on Tuesday nights, please join. Um, the word is Neyorwinch. Neyorwinch. Ne I have a hard time saying it. I wish I could just let it roll off my tongue. Neyorwinch. Anyways, it is Pennsylvania Dutch for New Year's wishes. And it means health wealth and happiness wishing you health wealth and happiness for the new year so it's perfect to end 2020 with this beautiful sentiment and i love the way the painting turned out i changed the flowers the folk flowers were pink and yellow and i wanted it to look wintry and the pink and yellow were the colors were just too warm so i love the blue and the brown together and the crackle turned out perfectly i love all that crackle and grungy look so I think it turned out fun and somebody mentioned oh you should make that into a cross stitch which would be a really cool cross stitch so that might be coming there's there's a lot of people that liked some of the christmas art last week too and said oh i can't wait to see some of those in cross stitch i'm telling y'all if i could clone myself i would 
and that person, <laughs> that Teresa would be just like a little slave and it would just, that little girl would just be designing cross stitch 24 seven. <laughs> Cause I mean, I have enough art to do that. I just don't have enough time. Not that I believe in cloning, just kidding. What else do we have? Oh yeah. So I have pictures of things that you all finished that you sent to me. So thank you very much. And we will go through those right now. First we have Zydra Stankunite. <laughs> I am so sorry, Zydra. I'm probably saying your name completely wrong. So for that, I apologize. She finished Pet All the Dogs. But this is the first time I've ever seen someone finish it as Hug All the Cats. And I really love that she put the date 9-3 of 2020. And then she put Ingle White, which maybe that's her maiden name. It's a family name, I'm guessing, of some sort. But I love how she finished it and by personalizing it like that. It's so pretty. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Next we have Christy Wiley Vanderslice and she stitched Happy Birthday Jesus. That is a patron only design and I love her finish, it's super cute. So thank you Christy for sharing that with us. I love that green fabric she stitched it on. Very cute. All right ladies, thank you so much and, and if anybody has a finished Teresa Kogut design that they would like me to share on my channel, just Email me at TeresaCogut3 at gmail.com and I will share that with everyone. I love seeing them. I just love it. All right, haul. I got some haul, y'all. Oh, you know what? Before I move on, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has sent me a Christmas card. Um, I'm very grateful. It's so fun to see a card from someone that I've never met, but somebody that like I've gotten to know virtually via this avenue, you know, with floss tube, Instagram, and that kind of thing. I just think it's very touching and it makes the world seem smaller. So I'm truly grateful. I just really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Okay, so haul, I got, well, I've got, oh, I ordered from this company, USA Canvas. Dot com. No, usacanvasonline.com. If you, it's a Canada company, which I find it very strange. It's called USA, usacanvasonline.com. But it's a company in Canada. They have free shipping and they're cradled boards. They carry the huge round ones, rectangle, whatever, free shipping. And, you know, I wanted some large cradle boards to do some large angel paint, angel paintings and some large paintings for our basement that we're remodeling because I have tons of wall space down there and I'm not going to clutter it up, so to speak, down in the, the basement. We want it to keep it simple and clean. Uh, I have a lot of tchotchkes and things <laughs> on the main level of the house and we just want to keep that more clean and streamlined. So I'm going to do a few large paintings that will cover a lot of the wall space down there. Anyways, to purchase those large cradled boards here in the States, the shipping is ridiculous and it makes, it just makes it so expensive. And Kristen, my best friend that I paint with on Witch Paint Wednesday, she lives in Tennessee. Anyways, she found this company and they have free shipping. So it makes it super affordable. I got several large pieces from them. I didn't order a bunch just because I wanted to see how smooth the transaction went and everything. And it was, it was wonderful. So I will be ordering for them again soon. Sorry guys, I have to keep doing this because last week I smiled and the middle of my lips split and it took about three days to heal up and it hurt so bad. And every time I smiled, it would start bleeding and it was terrible. So I'm attached at the hip to my lip stuff now. Um, what else did I get though? Oh yeah, I got fabric. It's still in my bag. Oh, I'm sorry, I just kicked my dog in the face. I'm sorry, did you move? So I went to send something to Mandy Russell to model stitch for me. 
And I realized I didn't have any Picture of This Plus Mystic left. And that's the color, that's the one I really wanted to use. So I was really sad I couldn't get that in the mail to her. So I hopped online knowing that if I order wholesale from Picture of This Plus, it could be, you know, three to six months because she's just buried, buried with orders. So I went online and, and shopped around at some different places, Kitten Stitcher and some other places. So I got one that's ultimately going to be uh, a giveaway. Because online it did not look. This is from the Stitcher's Village. In Topeka, Kansas. Topeka, Kansas. Yeah. Yeah, Therese, that's it. So online, it it looked, it, I love the shade of blue. It's called Crystal Mystic. And since it said Mystic, I'm like, okay, it's probably that same blue, but it will have a little bit of shimmer, like a little bit of sparkle to it. A little bit is what I was hoping for. Because that would have been okay, because this design is a winter design that I want to put it on. And I thought, oh, it might look like snowflakes. No, I. it's lighter than I wanted, and it's... Can you see the sparkles? The thing about the sparkles is that it's like yellows and pinks and different color sparklies. So anyway, I don't think it's going to work for the things that I designed. So this may be a giveaway piece. It's a nice big piece of... of uh, is this Ada though? Let me think. Yeah, it's 16 count Ada. So this will become a giveaway at some point. But, you know, that's my fault. I took a chance because I was desperate because I really want to get this out to Mendy. So the next one's from Teresa, Kitten Stitcher. Why are you, why are you a scared? Why are you a scared, Teeny? She's over here panting. What's wrong? There's nothing to be afraid of. It's not thundering. It's not windy. Nothing, nothing, nothing to be afraid of. Okay, so I from her I ordered uh, 16 count Ada in Dusk. I like the color, but it's I don't think it's I don't know this this is gonna work for the design that I want to have stitched on it. I want it a dark. I really want I really want Mystic, but I couldn't find it. Um, then this is 32 count cauldron. I don't know. It's a bummer. I don't know. Maybe it says on the, the order form. Because I don't know. Picture this plus dusk. Okay. Uh, on the, oh, okay. So cauldron is also picture this plus 32 count. Oh yeah, and I got some needles too. Some bohen needles. Bohen, am I saying that right? Bohen. Look at how cool that is. I love it, but that is not gonna work for the application that I want it for either. So I took a chance and ordered these fabrics and neither one of those are going to work. All right, so. They might work for something else, but not for this particular design. What else did I get? Oh, that needs to go back to the house. This is a printer cartridge for, I bought a, it's a Canon desk. Oh, I forget the name of it, but basically it's an app on my phone and I can take the pictures that are on my phone and send it to that printer and it prints off four by six pictures and I love that because you know I miss having pictures in my hand to look through uh, and, and if anything happened to all my photos on my phone you know it's like my life is on this phone you know the photos I have my photos on my phone synced to my computer so they're it's it's being stored but still you know it's you want to have I want to have physical pictures and I want to put them in photo albums, you know what I mean? And so that you can, someone can sit down and look through them. So anyway, I bought that recently and um, I really like it. What's wrong? Why are you doing that, boo? You're okay, there's nothing to be afraid of. You're so 
such a weirdo. Okay. Oh, and then my um, my lizard litter showed up. So I can make my pillows from my, uh, I have two punch needle finishes that I would like to make into pillows. So wish me luck. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm hearing noises, but it's nothing to be afraid of. I don't know what her problem is. Okay, and then one last thing that I got, you guys. Okay, I illustrated a book years and years ago for Books Are Fun. And I know I showed it on here before, but I, every so often, I'll go to Amazon, and if they have any for sale, I buy them. <laughs> I have eight of them now. I... But, okay, so normally I just get the book. Okay, here's the book, uh, always there for you. And it's super, it's super cute. Well, I want one for, I don't think I've given one to Brie and Eric for the kids yet. I need to ask her. I meant to, but I don't know if I did or not. I'm kind of hoping I didn't because these books actually came, I bought three of them. These books actually came with the bear, the little teeny tiny bear. Oh my gosh, I just love this little bear so much. And he's, it says old friend on it. It's got the little painting I did that says old friend on it. Let me see, and you open it up. Oh, it has a really bad picture of me. It has a little biography and it's just really cute. And it's teeny tiny, teeny tiny. So if I didn't give that to Brie and Eric yet, they'll get the little bear with it. Um, so I'm just collecting them because I want to be able to give them to my grandkids, you know, um, Kyle and Ryan, you know, someday they'll get married and have kids and I would just like them to have the book with the bear as well. So at least I have three that have the bear with it because the other books I bought, it was just the book. I kind of forgot actually that it came with the bear. So I was really pleased. I didn't even know when I ordered those three books that those bears were going to come with it. So Woo woo win. All right, that's it for haul. All right, I'm gonna go whims of the past. I'm gonna show you some more of my Christmas paintings. Uh, and then I forgot, like I had this tote over by my desk and I found a ton more Christmas paintings. So next weekend I will show the balance of them and that should be it for the Christmas ones. So let's go through those now. I'll try to do it a little bit faster than I did last week because it kind of drug out. I don't want this to go on and on and be too boring for you. Okay, so this one is like a set of, of quite a few paintings that I did for Blossom Bucket. And they actually made figurines out of these. I think I've already showed the figurines here on Floss Tube before. So anyway, that number is 4079, so you can tell how recent that is. 4087. They're very cutesy and whimsical. 4089. 4080. Yes, they would be cute for cross stitch. 4088. Forty ninety. And this one is not numbered. I really like that with the choo choo train. I think that's really cute. I can't tell if that's in focus because my, there we go. This was done for the calendar uh, that I don't do anymore from the heart calendar. There's no number on this, so I don't know what calendar that, or what year calendar that was from. This number is 686. This was done for a fabric line. Uh, joy to the world or no joyful angels it was a fabric line of bears dressed as angels I showed some of the art last week but this was like an all-over print just a bunch of little teddy bear angels so this next series is a series of three two seven seven six kindness kindness warms the heart um, and you can see Wait. Yeah, this is the one I had the misspelled word. I actually had to look at it a couple times to realize it was misspelled. I'm like, which one of these had the misspelled words? But anyway, the other N for kindness. Yeah, 
didn't even know it. I actually sent it to the company and they're like, oh, this is spelled wrong. So I photoshopped it, shrunk it all down, moved this over, took that and repeated it right there. <laughs> I fixed it. Thank God for Photoshop. That's all I got to say. Okay, and so that was the Christmas card too that I used this year. So it might look familiar to some of you. Uh, then I did two more because the company I used to work with that did all my gift bags and gift boxes, uh, he always wanted them in sets of three or four. So I did two more. I didn't paint the borders because I just photoshopped the border in. Athena, please stop. They don't want to hear you whining. All right, and then we have 2014 Blessings Santa. You guys, this looks familiar, right? 2162 Spirit of Christmas. This is all the things. I named it all the things for a cross stitch pattern. And then this will look familiar. This has also been charted. It was charted just with the three Santas and the Merry Christmas. Bell Snickles. Then I have... Athena, go lay down. Please go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. All right, these don't have numbers. These are kind of recent. They're a little bit more modern looking. But I think they're fun. I like that guy. I think that's a, such a fun snowman with this little, oh my gosh, with the little suspender pants, so cute. Oh, holy night. That number is 4159. Then I've got a little series here of Santa, Juggling Santa, 2433. He's balancing them on his feet too. And then the last one. And then this one, I remember I painted this for a company, but I don't, I can't remember who. And it doesn't have a number or a title or anything on the back, so I don't know when it was painted. But Happy Holidays doesn't have a number either. This would be a really cute Christmas card. I try to hold it straight. Then we've got Jumpin' Joy Santa, 4165. This will look familiar. I have charted this one. This is available as a crustish chart. Home for Christmas. Deck the barn with wreaths and holly. Hey, even the barnyard animals want to have a nice Christmas. Then we've got little fluffy you, and then on the other side we've got a couple chickens decorating the tree. This one says, "Please have snow and mistletoe." I don't sing well, so I'll stop. That's a newer one. It's not numbered either. I don't know what the heck I was thinking with not numbering these. Love this. I think these, I'm definitely going to chart these farm animals. Actually, I need to set them aside because I want to do a whole like barnyard Christmas. Um, and I'll, Athena, I'm going to put her on the other side. She's really driving me crazy. Come on. I don't know if I'm going to chart, chart them small to be like ornaments or if I'm going to make it so that you can piece them together and make one big cross stitch. That way you have an option to make it one big piece or small pieces for ornaments. I don't know. He's carrying eggnog. I love that little sheep with all the ornaments. And then, and then the tree with all the chickens on it. And then I go on top of the packages. That's fun. And then this one, I was, I did these for Blossom Bucket. So I was showing the front view of the sheep and then the side view of the sheep with the goose on top. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those who his favor rests. That was actually made into a Christmas card by Legacy Publishing a few years back. This one... Flying Lessons, this is charted as cross-stitch as well. Three, 
3938. This one I didn't paint the border. I think I ended up photoshopping the border on it. Did I say 3938? I meant 2938. And then this one's 2937 and 2936. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, so this one um, I painted just the bottom part of the border and then I photoshopped this holly border. I just photoshopped it around the entire piece. Thank you, Photoshop. I'm not like the best person at Photoshop, but over the years I've become pretty good. I can do things that look pretty seamless. This poor thing is getting, it's got like a bend mark in it. But this was a repeating stripe that I did for Wintertime Friends fabric line years, years and years ago. I really like that one with the birds pulling the sleigh and Santa with the snowmen. Would that not be a fun chart? I'm gonna set that one aside too. I may have shown some of these before, I don't know. 2013 Santa, my friend. That was very popular with Park Designs. They did a lot of kitchen, uh, like, um, what do you call it? Tabletop plates and mugs and a cookie jar and then all the linens and things to go with that set. So that was uh, quite a few years back. This is 2032 Candy Cane Parade. <laughs> I love these snowmen. Their faces are too funny. 3991. Three nine nine two three nine nine zero Peace on Earth again. I painted just this part of the border and then photoshopped the rest on so my digital file will have a full border on it. But that one's a fun one. That would be a cute one to chart. People like Northwood stuff. Look at that owl's face. He's like, what am I doing here? These people are so obnoxious. I just want to go home. <laughs> Ooh, this is a bright one. 3234 Candy Cane Snowmen. And then we have, so let's see, how does this go in order? Oh, I don't know what order they go in. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. I don't think these are going to be in order, but basically the night before Christmas. and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. <laughs> He's filling stockings, yeah, I think after that comes. And then in a twinkle I heard, I don't know, really. I don't know the order that it goes. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. That's a cute one. His nose should have been a little more red. Um. It shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He's laughing. Then on the next one says, Merry Christmas to all and to all. Good night. So basically the verses from the night before Christmas. Here is, oh, this is, oh, I thought I had the year on it. This was 2007. So these are some labels for a fabric line. Those would be cute, like sticker labels, wouldn't they? Okay, so I have four, oh no. What on earth is happening? This is what's happening. So I painted 
these three and then somebody asked me to paint them lighter and brighter because it was in that mode so i want to show you the first ones this is how i like them okay so we have season's greetings i love these borders i think they're super cute so season's greetings merry christmas they have like a pennsylvania dutch feel to them to me and then happy holidays all right well they wanted me to repaint them check out the difference so there's the one i like that's the bright one they asked me to paint okay there's the one i like there's the bright one they had me paint Ugh. there's the one i like and there's the bright one they had me paint so yeah back in the day when people told me how to paint not anymore and then this one oh there's probably three in here i gotta open it sorry this is a little cute teddy bear one three little teddy bear paintings with a little bunny tis the season Happy holidays, happy holidays, and a gift for you. Our tree, this is from 2007. I think there's a series of these, but they're not in order, so I don't know where the other ones are. This is Letters for Santa. And I love that it's the little sheepies that have, are bringing letters to Santa. The reindeer are helping too. And then a little mailbox, Santa's workshop, North Pole. There's letters in there, letters down in the snow. And the little birds are carrying letters. That's a fun little design. Here's a more modern looking one. Here is Christmas Stroll with Izzy, number 1824. I like this because it doesn't, it's like more wintry. Does it say, yeah, it says Merry Christmas, but I could change that to snow walk or strolling in the snow, I don't know. But I like the, it just looks sun-kissed. That's my favorite kind of winter day is when there's lots of snow, but it's warm enough to play in the snow and it's kind of melting so that it, you can make snowmen with it and stuff, but it's warm out. My favorite kind of snow day. What's that say? Christ the Savior is born rejoice. Are those snow angels? Yeah, they got little wings. God, these would just be cute. Oh, God, I got to think about that. How cute would it be? To have each of these charted small and then have like this one christ and then underneath the and then savior underneath is born rejoice and then have them all like each one finished individually but like have strings or something attaching them four of them wouldn't that be cute that'd be really cute i might set that one aside too and then this long design this let me just take it out of there that's what makes me think i might have already showed this because it was opened at one point so this is basically a major christmas parade with that snowman as the leader so you got reindeer polar bear more snowmen santa right there in the middle a little squirrel running along a beaver on the back of the <laughs> polar bear a moose, a fox, another snowman, which I love. He's got a bird nest with a bird on his head. An owl, another little squirrel, or maybe that's a rabbit. That's actually a rabbit. And then another polar bear with the snowman, another reindeer, a raccoon. What is this? A oh, baby polar bear, a raccoon, and then a snowman holding a duck. So that is quite the Christmas parade. Look how long that sucker is. It's like as long as my arm. Okay, it's longer than my arm. 
Okay, that's it, guys, for this week. I have another huge stack to share with you next week, but... All right, that's it. Uh, artist highlight. So I wanted to share this with you last week, but I didn't because the video was so long. Uh, I have tried to find information on this artist, like a bio or something that I can read while I'm showing you her work, but I can't find any information on her. She's like this mysterious artist. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you some of her work and just play some music. But she, I sent her one of my angel pictures it's actually heartstrings this angel here um but this one's cropped but it, it was one of the rare angels i have where it shows the full wing so she's making me an embroidered pin of this particular angel here and i can't wait um i'm in the queue she's so busy because she's so talented and i won't get it till march but that's fine that's why i wanted to go with just an angel something that would work all year long any whoozy whatsies, I'm gonna share her work with you right now. Enjoy. I will have a link to her Instagram below that you can follow her. I'll All right, so last week for the giveaway, uh, you had to say gratitude. No. Yeah, you had to say gratitude. Right? Jeepers. Yep. And this is the prize. So let me do the YouTube random comment picker here. All right, let's see who wins the project bag. You had to say gratitude. The winner is... Da -da -da -da! Maria Dusselblan Pacheco. <laughs> Pacheco. I'm sure it's way more elegant than that. So Maria, my apologies if I butchered your name. But she said, yes, Jesus is the reason. I have gratitude for my family, our health, and our love for one another. Our, your grandbabies are adorable. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you, everyone, for your wonderful comments. There's nothing like speaking out loud things that you're grateful for. It's very powerful. So thank you everyone for sharing that with me. Congratulations, Maria. If you could just email me at TeresaCogat3 at gmail.com and I will get your beautiful project bag out to you ASAP. And thank you everyone for your comments. I loved reading about everything that you're grateful for this year, even though it was a difficult year. Always something to be grateful for, that is for sure. So this week's angel is the sweet girl. And on the back, it says the best way to fill your life with love is to open your heart and give love. And that is so true. You get what you give. So, and you can't out give God. I love those two sayings. So, uh, yeah, just give love and you'll get love. Let's have our phrase be give love. Let me write that down. So all you have to do is mention give love and you will be in the drawing for another project bag, which is going to be this sweet one with the snowflake pattern on the inside. And then on the back, it's like a toss. So it's non-directional basically. There's some things will be upside down in one direction and. <laughs> so that is for the next um, drawing for next week, guys. So thank you for spending time with me today. I love this community and I that is one of the things I'm most grateful for is discovering floss tube and being, you know, just a part of the the needlework industry is amazing. And you all, I'm grateful for all of you. And um this is the time of year too, even though I'm super busy still with the fabric company or designing the fabric is uh, I like to sit and reflect on what I did the prior year or, you know, this past year. And then what are my plans moving on? I haven't had a chance to sit down and do that, but my birthday is coming up on New Year's Eve, December 31st. It's my birthday. So that is a day I like to sit and just reflect and make plans. And I get so excited when a new year starts. What is the deal with that? I don't know why, but I just do. I don't know. It's exciting to think of plans and, and think of things that can be. 
um, full of possibilities I feel like this life is and this world is. So um, anyways, all right guys, thank you so much for being here. Keep the comments coming please if you could like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this station or this channel if you want. I would love that. It really helps me out. So don't forget, you're in control. So create every day. Bye. Here you go, buddy. What'd you get? What is it? Look at his face. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> Boo -boo, get back. Come on, sit, sit. Photo I bomber. Sit. Ellery, what'd you get? Awesome. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> what is it? Like, Uncle Ryan's gonna have to help you. <laughs> we all had one as a child. Look how excited he is. <laughs> I think she's more excited about his present too. Teeny, do you have to stand right there? Come here, come here. Come sit. Oh, okay. Oh no, I got both the dogs. Okay. Here, let me get it. Let me undo them for you. Oh no, I'm gonna I'll be able to like both. Wait a minute. Two ones. Chipples. Another. Yeah. What is it? Wow, Grandma put a lot of tape on that, didn't she? She's very determined. What is it? I want it on. Would you like to put it on? <laughs> okay, let's put that one on. Oh, don't pull that. What is it? Open it. Oh, oh, oh it's so pretty. Open it. Yeah, yeah, open Oh, that's from you too? Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh that's right. She didn't open it. Wait, wait, wait. You got more gifts. Oh, she's got the freaking <laughs> big head. That's all right. We're going to wait for Kyle so for the. Well, hold on. Let's wait for Uncle Kyle to come down. Okay, hang on. That's it. There you go. Pull Use two right hands. Here. Use your other hand. Use this hand too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. One handed. Is that for you? Mm -hmm. Is that for Uncle Kyle? Is it going to be the same one? No, it's definitely different. No, no, okay. It's, it's different than that. Phew. Oh, wow. Oh, she's, got a, she's got an Anna and an Elsa. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, look at my bag. <laughs> what do you say to Uncle Kyle? Thank you. Good Bobby. job. Bubby gave up on his? Yeah. Aww. Bobby, go open yours. <gasps> open it up. I think like the key is to get all the gifts that were already opened out of this. Like, this probably a good Bobby, idea. Who is this? Open it Oh, I think there's some overlap here. Oh, yeah? I was kind of worried about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Bobby's like, I'll just do it. I'm just going to say that. Bobby. There's stuff in there, too, bud. Oh, there is in there. Oh. Oh, minions. Ah, nice. Yeah, he doesn't even care. No, I spoiled. Come out, Bree. Yeah. Maybe we went overboard. I don't know. <laughs> How can you? Yeah. Oh, wow. All minions. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the minions. Though. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she just... <laughs> okay, let's What'd you get? And you got a new yeah, thing to sit in? <laughs> Open it. Please? Open it. Can you say please? please? Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Please. Can you tell your uncles thank you? 
thank you, Uncle Ryan. Uncle Ryan. <laughs> so precious. Easton. Easton. Oh, this is cute, I think. Get it, get it. What's in there? Oh, it's a pretty bad bag. He goes. Get that. Get it. Get that. Yeah, so I think she can handle it. Oh, what's he got? What's he got, Pops? He's so mellow. You should sell about it. There you go. Get in there. What is that? What's you got, Boa? He's like, wait, get that, wait. Get that. Don't, don't, don't bounce it right now. Okay. It distracts him. Gotcha. He's kind of slow already. He's very slow. <laughs> get it. <laughs> what is it? <that? laughs> Did you get a ball? <laughs> Oh, I like these already. Yeah, it has a flash. Oh, oh yeah. wait a second. Now we're oh, talking. now we're talking right here. Yes. I needed these. Yeah, boy. Ooh, now these. Yeah, I'm curious how those were. We were just talking about snips. We were just talking about the Yeah, we were just talking about snips, that's right. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I wondered why one was a different direction. Right, so wait, those, these are, yeah. And those are universal. Yeah, these, those are more for... It says like, for roofing and stuff, and I metal, vinyl, you know, roofing. So, well, they might get more use out of that. Is it for cutting like this? Oh, these are for cutting like that. yeah, because gotcha. I don't have to do very much of that. Like yeah. very, most of it's just straight. But yeah. the reds are good for straight. Yeah, the reds yeah. are good. They're just hard to once you go the wrong way, they're hard to get back on straight. <laughs> what are you trying to say? This stuff works good. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't have anything like this, so it's perfect. Oh, dang, son. The oh, weapon. Talking, it's man. a roofing hammer. This is a roofing hammer? That's what it says. <laughs> really? That's what it says. I don't know. I thought it was a dang oh, axe. Are those weapon hammer. Oh, yeah, nice. Like oh, wow. Like Elon's freaking rocket. <laughs> Musk, <laughs> Musk lighters. That's pretty accurate.